Genital warts. Genital warts are quite possibly the most well-known kinds of physically sent diseases. Virtually all physically dynamic individuals will become tainted with somewhere around one sort of human papillomavirus, HPV, the infection that causes genital warts, sooner or later during their lives. Genital warts influence the wet tissues of the genital region. They can look like little, tissue-hued knocks or have a cauliflower-like appearance. By and large, the warts are too little to possibly be apparent. A few strains of genital HPV can cause genital warts, while others can cause disease. Immunizations can help secure against specific strains of genital HPV. Indications. In ladies, genital warts can develop on the vulva, the dividers of the vagina, the region between the outside genitals and the butt, the butt-centric trench, and the cervix. In men, they may happen on the tip or shaft of the penis, the scrotum, or the rear end. Genital warts can likewise create in the mouth or throat of a had oral sexual individual contact with a contaminated individual. The signs and side effects of genital warts include little, tissue-shaded, brown or pink swellings in your genital region, a cauliflower-like shape brought about by a few warts near one another, tingling or distress in your genital region, draining with intercourse. Genital warts can be so little and level as to be imperceptible, once in a while, nonetheless, genital warts can duplicate into enormous bunches, in somebody with a suppressed insusceptible framework. When to see a specialist. See a specialist in the event that you or your accomplice creates knocks or warts in the genital region. Causes. The human papillomavirus, HPV, causes warts. There are in excess of 40 strains of HPV that influence the genital region. Genital warts are quite often spread through sexual contact. Your warts don't need to be noticeable for you to spread the disease to your sexual accomplice. Risk factors. A great many people who are physically dynamic get contaminated with genital HPV sooner or later. Elements that can build your danger of becoming tainted include having unprotected sex with different accomplices, having had another physically sent contamination, Having intercourse with an accomplice whose sexual history you don't have a clue. Turning out to be physically dynamic at a youthful age. Having a compromised insusceptible framework, for example, from HIV or medications from an organ relocate. Difficulties. HPV disease entanglements can include. Malignancy. Cervical malignancy has been firmly connected with genital HPV contamination. Particular kinds of HPV additionally are related with diseases of the vulva, rear end, penis, and mouth and throat. HPV disease doesn't generally prompt malignancy, yet women must have normal pap tests, especially those who've been tainted with higher danger kinds of HPV. Issues during pregnancy. Infrequently during pregnancy, warts can broaden, making it hard to pee. Warts on the vaginal divider can restrain the extending of vaginal tissues during labor. Huge warts on the vulva or in the vagina can drain when extended during conveyance. Very once in a while, a child brought into the world to a mother with genital warts creates warts in the throat. The child may require a medical procedure to hold the aviation route back from being hindered. Avoidance. Restricting your number of sexual accomplices and being inoculated will assist with keeping you from getting genital warts. Utilizing a condom each time you engage in sexual relations is a smart thought, however will not really shield you from genital warts. Inoculation. Three HPV immunizations have been endorsed by the Food and Drug Administration. The latest, Gardasil 9 is supported for use in guys and females ages 9 to 45 to ensure against cervical disease and genital warts. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, suggests routine HPV inoculation for young ladies and young men ages 11 and 12, despite the fact that it tends to be given as ahead of schedule as age 9. It's ideal for young ladies and young men to get the immunization before they have sexual contact. Incidental effects from the antibodies are normally gentle and incorporate irritation at the infusion site, cerebral pains, a second-rate fever or influenza-like indications. The CDC currently suggests that each of the 11 and 12-year-olds get two portions of HPV antibody no less than a half-year separated, rather than the recently suggested three-portion plan. 
more youthful teenagers ages 9 and 10 and adolescents ages 13 and 14 additionally can get inoculation on the refreshed two-portion plan. Examination has shown that the two-portion plan is successful for kids under 15. Adolescents and youthful grown-ups who start the immunization series later, at ages 15 through 26, should keep on getting three portions of the antibody. The CDC currently suggests get up to speed HPV immunizations for all individuals through age 26 who aren't enough inoculated.